but rules are rules, people. There's a reason why we have rules. You don't piss in the sink and you don't shit in the shower. You go do that shit in the toilet. That's a fucking rule. The beat is off the fire. <laughs> Welcome back to Mike Up Podcast. It's your boy Zealous. Boy Time. Brain TV. I got loaded. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Doing good. So, what's the topic we're talking about today? I think you were doing uh, Kanye. Yeah, man. Everybody's burning the fucking shoes. Huh? Yeah. Right, man. They had some wild shit. Meaning they have a collection of 40 pair of Yeezys and he set them on fire. It makes no sense to me because you purchase the shoes, you're going to burn the shoes, you're burning your money, you're wasting your money. I don't mean, know, you know, you don't really mean shit to you. Yeah, dude. You're right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, we some tricks. You know, <laughs> I, I, I ain't giving up on you. I'm yeah. not giving up on Kanye. Uh, I tell you, like we talked about last week, Ye wasn't wrong about what he said. He just wasn't the right messenger because all his other bullshit that he brought up on. Yeah. yeah. That's why people talk shit about you. But the thing is, Ye owns Yeezy. Adidas lost $246 million from him. They right. lost all his money. Yes. That's fucked. Yeah. Yes. I remember Rum DMC uh had a contract with Adidas yeah. back in the day when I was growing up and they split off and they made more money selling their own shoes by uh by themselves than with Adidas. And mm-hmm. then the wall shit is they even had a song. Yes. He's like, My uh Adidas and then that was just it. You know? That was it, man. Yeah, they it. they made it popular. Yeah, man, uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm sorry to say that sketches could have made millions of dollars. I'm, I don't know. I like Kanye's shoes, but I wouldn't rock sketches. I haven't rocked sketches since like fucking kindergarten. Well, sketches threw him off because he showed up unannounced. Yeah, that yes. too. And then on top of that, I guess he didn't do his homework because the guy that runs sketches, the guy that's the president of sketches is the person that he was talking shit about. He's Jewish. So, you know, you think, He's gonna let you just even if you did have a meeting with him, you think he's just gonna let that shit slide? Like, but a lot of people cutting back on Kanye yeah. and shit like that just to save their ass like that. Yeah, like in love. Chicago. It's, yeah, yeah, Chicago paid over the memorial, like that. and that's bad. That's your own city. But that's because of social media, though. They that's making it seem like Kanye, all the shit that he talked about black people and shit like that. They turned it back towards that. Really, he was really speaking some real shit about the Jews and stuff. Yeah, I'm like y'all just gonna go blackball because everybody on social media blackball. That's the same it's thing a happened shit, to Dave Chappelle when Dave Chappelle talked about it uh, about the Jews and you know different people and religions and everything like that. Yeah. You know, because once you start excluding people except blacks, it's an issue. You know, and that's another thing. Like with uh, you know, what happened in L.A. with the those court people. Uh, I don't know. They were like high position politicians or whatever and they were caught you know leaked audio talking about you know a black kid and yes. i think it was their neighbor's kid they were talking about and they were just calling them like derogatory names in, in spanish yes. and it turns out like um it, they're actually like being told to step down all this other type of shit and the crazy thing is like um I've been looking at a lot of the feed. They're like, well, I don't see anything that they did wrong. And that's coming from, you know, a lot of people from the Hispanic Latino community and shit. Martinez announced her resignation in a lengthy statement in which she apologized again. Sunday, a secret audio recording of Martinez with council members Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo was leaked. In it, Martinez was heard making racist and vile comments against blacks, Jews, indigenous Mexicans, and the LGBTQ community. She also made a racist remark about a a white council member's young black son. Calls for her resignation came from as high as the White House. The comments came during a conversation about redistricting in which Martinez and other council members were trying to maintain their... They just like straight up, ready, you know, super racist, like towards black people, probably even more than white people. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, man. I think we just all need to stick together, come together as a unity. Yeah. Which, you know, I just hard, want you know? the bigotry to stop. Yeah. If, if a lot of people would just mind their own fucking business and stop worrying about what the next man doing, 
maybe you, you'd be probably better off, you know? That's all I'm saying. Just stop being so fucking bigoted and uppity about shit. Just because somebody doing it a different way doesn't mean that you got the shit figured out. It's life. It's a journey. You got to figure this shit out yourself. You know, you too busy looking over the fence trying to see what the fuck the, the China man's doing, the white man's doing, the black man's doing. You need to be worried about what the fuck you doing. Because one day you're going to wake up and you all by yourself. Ain't nobody coming to save you. All right. Not your fucking government. Not your mama. No fucking body. It's just going to be your ass. And that's it. That's why a lot of motherfuckers just go crazy. They just out here in the streets just doing whatever. It's just yeah. fucking sad. Jumping off a of building. Just yeah. Like, yeah. And then you got to think about it. Like, um, what was the thing you was watching before this? Like, um, I think your boy Tate, he said, you know, race is a poor man's problem. That, yeah. That's how you divide and conquer and all that wild shit. Right. Though. Billionaires don't <clears throat> be racist to other billionaires, no matter what skin complexion you have. It's, yeah, it's wild. You know, racism is for poor people. Yeah. You know, to keep us sleep keep people not woke. So once you wake up, man, you'll be better off. You know what I mean? So, I mean, just stop the hate. Stop being a bigot. Yeah. Just keep focusing on what you're supposed to be doing. Make the world a better place, you know. That's it. That's just it. And just how they try to kick out Kanye, you know, they try to do the same thing to Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's why Michael Jackson came out with that song, um, We Are The People. We Are The People. Yeah, that, that, that shit's yeah, a banger. So, that, know, that shit was a banger. Yeah, rest in peace to Mike. But yeah. you know, man, this is this world. America is a fucked up place. Yeah, it's I mean, good. Everywhere's it's a fucked bad. up place. I mean, you can just get away with more shit here. Yeah, America not free. Yeah, no such thing as freedom of speech no more. Well, everything comes with yeah. a cost. That, that's what made me want to talk about the topic with Elon Musk. You know, buying Twitter because now he's making changes over there and he's getting rid of a lot of people that are, you know, having pronouns in their names and stuff. I don't know what type of, you know, time he's on, but, um, I think he's about to start changing things up around there. So, yeah. um, that's, that's different. I think he bought it last Saturday. I think about, so. And so when far, we were first recording. Yeah. He fired by what? Four people. Yeah. Like, and they were high earning people. Like they were like top of the food chain yeah. and he just knocked them off. He was like, man, y'all gotta go. I don't yeah. like the way y'all run the shit. And he even blocked his fucking ex on the shit, bro, on Twitter. So she she can't even make another uh account page, whatever. Like she is banned off Twitter. Yeah, you know he probably blocked he his blocked kids. Bitch. He spent all that money just to ban his ex off of like Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> if it is in love, yeah. Then my between love and hate. Shit, that's it's cold, bro. That is fucking uh, cold. So, um, outside of that, what, what is the other topics we want to speak about? Uh, um, Reagan Griner got nine years in the Russia jail. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my God. Nine years, man. And, and, and she got denied. You know, she tried to do an appeal and she got denied for that. I mean, how do you feel? I mean, she's just a regular person like you and me. Yeah. What is America supposed to do? Ain't much. I mean, I mean you, went you, over there, you went over there with the drugs and shit like that and got caught up. Yeah. yeah, you made that choice. You got to lay in your bed. You can't beg America to save your ass. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, they, 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 they could do a swap. We have people they want, you know. But think about it though. She's not like an actual like big figure that's helping America. She's just a U.S. citizen that plays WNBA ball. Right. You made your bed. You got to lay it. Not saying that She's I don't woman. agree with the time that she's serving is wrong. Yeah. But that's a different country. You got to abide by their rules. You knew what you was doing. Right. right? So yeah. you got to take accountability in your actions. She's like, like everybody knows. She keep, no, like she keeps saying that. Oh, I voted for um Biden. Can you get me out? I voted for Biden too. This bitch ain't even no money. Fuck. Yeah. Like if it was me, you would think Biden would get my ass out of Russia jail? No. Yeah. No, so much he There's a couple money. people from U.S. that's in Russia jail. With a just yeah. a W. Not saying nothing's wrong, but she's a W. But on star. The flip side, that's a refuge for your boy Snowden, the guy that was talking about the NSA shit. Mm-hmm. And Russia's housing him. He he can stay there as long as he wants because here in America we want his ass. We want to put him in jail. So it's just like it's a flip of a coin. It's so crazy. Yeah. You know, he gives information out to the public about what the government's doing. And Russia wants to, you know, house him, protect him and shit. But she plays basketball and stuff. But like what you said, she's um, you know, she's over there saying that 
their laws and rules don't abide to her because she feels like, you know, she's American, she's uh, popular, she's really good at the sport. Mm -hmm. But rules are rules, people. There's a reason why we have rules. You don't piss in the sink and you don't shit in the shower. You go do that shit in a toilet. That's a fucking rule. Obviously, because what this is that America had a chance to make a swap for a, for a Russian a Russian person that they have in custody and shit like that. They chose not to because they felt like it wasn't worth the swap. Mm-hmm. They're not getting nothing out not of terrorists. that. They're not getting nothing out of that. Yeah, no. Like, oh, we're going to trade your WNBC star for one of your terrorists. No, we're not getting nothing out of that. Yeah, that's like, right. that's like me. If trading. you had one of our FBI agents or secret agents and shit like that, then yeah, we can make everything like this. Right. Like, imagine you got a top tier fucking, what, what, what's his name? Jack Reacher type of dude who's out here. He's got like tons of war medals, war hero and shit. And he gets captured by Russia. And then we got one of their guys. That's a fair trade. But like what you said, I mean, all she does is play basketball. Then people like to you know, say like, that, oh, if it was LeBron, it would be different. Nah, if it was mm-hmm. LeBron, it probably still nah, would be different. Still be and I'm like, I hate that y'all throw LeBron name in it because LeBron is one of the advocates for it for how to try to get back to the United States. I'm like, right. he, so can don't only do, he can only do so much. He's not in political. He's an NBA star. He's not a political campaign person that can make a change. Like, he can only do so much. He's an NBA star at the end of the day. He's yes. not in politics. He's not a fucking president. He's not a governor. Remember that. He's yes. just an NBA star. And you know what? I'm and glad you said that. would never had fucking brought weed on a flight to Russia. LeBron knows oh. better than that. Like, you got to accept your accountability. Exactly. Just take the time for your actions. You made the bed, lay in it. And I'm also glad that you brought that up because that also brings me to my next thing I want to talk about. Why in the fuck do we always look for these celebrities and these popular people to make big changes for society? They're not the ones passing the laws, people. (laughs) You want fucking change. You got to get the change from, you know, your local government. Stop going to these celebrities, reaching out to them on social media, That's and be like, like, help me, help have me. a bigger voice than regular people. But the thing is, I'm going to say this about the Jewish people, bring it back to Kanye. Yeah. The Jewish people signed a fucking, um, a thing to get Kanye banned from um, Adidas or whatever. They kept, they all came together, collectively came together, signed a petition, and Adidas accepted that bitch. They, they told them, they said, they basically said they didn't want to take the backlash for it. So they got rid of Kanye. Why didn't they do that with BMW? Why didn't they do that with Volkswagen? Those were machines that were used that hurt their people during World War One. Well, know. what's up with that? World War Two. What, what's Kanye is a person, not a vehicle. Well, I mean, this is we know we can actually look up that these um, manufacturing tanks. companies used to build tanks and planes. They and, probably already getting paid off from BMW yeah. and shit like that. That's yeah. why they're not really worried about they. Jewish people got paid in the back end from all that shit. No, don't get it twisted. Yeah, but it's just like, it's a shame. Like, you know, like you villainize one guy, but these actual brands and companies all over are paid in blood money. It's just like, bro, that's the what's the works. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's so contradicting. If you're going to get rid of just one guy, how about you wipe the whole table clean? Oh, no, you don't want to do that. What's up with that? But Why I'm not? By the community or whatever, if you actually come together collectively like the Jews did, you can make a change. You yeah. Can, not saying that the petition, the petition might do anything. It's a slight chance it actually will if enough people sign for some shit. You can make a change. Like people who all did a petition for the Sonic movie when they first had that ugly ass Sonic. Oh, yeah. Everybody came collectively and they did up. not like that Sonic. And they bullied them people into changing it to yeah. the Sonic we like. He didn't even have the gloves. Bro. Exactly. So, yeah, those little fucking. If y'all gloves. all come together, some shit can change. Yeah. It's yeah. up to y'all, to be honest. Yeah. But they go to celebrities because they feel like they have a better, um, I want to say platform than them. Them people don't give right. a fuck about none of y'all. They are made it over the hill. That's why I said earlier stop fucking going to them, praying for them to come save you, and then. Shit's still the same, man. It's the same shit, different day, bro. That's it. Ain't nothing fucking changing because y'all worrying about the wrong shit. The person that they've been going to a lot is Kim K. Kim Kardashian. She Kim been doing it. Yeah, she does that part, but yeah, you know. But for the most part, 
What about the rest of the celebrities? Are they doing anything? Get people out of jail? Fuck no. They don't worry about none of that shit. All they care about is making money, and that's it. Yeah, you I mean, know, getting into clubs for free, getting free promos for shit. They don't care about y'all. They want y'all to just keep staying poor, buying their shit, eating up their content. That's, that's on it. y'all with that bullshit. That's it. I mean, man. fuck it. That's what y'all want to do. Don't don't fucking try and figure out five years from now, shit's still the same. Remember when all that BLM shit was going on? People was like, yeah, we, we're making a change. We're making a difference. Where that money went at? <laughs> where them people went at? Where, 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 where's the big change? Because uh, last time I checked the TV, I haven't seen much of a change. It, actually, I've seen a, a fucking reverse of everything, you know? And, that's all too. and then a lot of these uh, places now, starting in January, they, they're going to start doing this bond shit. You heard about that? Like, yeah. um, all pretty much misdemeanors or petty crimes and shit. They're not even really going after those guys. It's about to be the fucking purge. 2023, the requirement of posting monetary bail is abolished. And, yeah, and y'all are cheering it on. Y'all want this shit. That's it. Okay, the same motherfuckers that want this shit. I want to see y'all out there in the trenches. Y'all want, everybody keeps posting free Ray Ray, free all these other motherfuckers. When they come out, I hope y'all ready. <laughs> I hope y'all ready. Because there's an old saying, when there's no more room left in hell, the dead will walk again. And it's about to get hot in this bitch. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about to go down. That's it. It's, it's a fucking wrap, bro. It's yeah. fucking done with. That's crazy, man. But a lot of fucking rapers are going to be out. A lot of murders. All, all types of wild shit. Yeah. And I mean... You know, people cool with that. that. That's what they want. They promote all the bad stuff. Remember what I was trying to say last episode? I was like, yeah, no, nah, you ain't got no business doing that. They know this already. I ain't even got to tell y'all shit. Y'all just want to just do it. Man, just throw the gasoline on it and just light the match and just burn this shit. Mm, fucking done, bro. Y'all y'all doing everything ass backwards on purpose. Literally. I mean, I've never seen some shit like this, bro. I just don't understand. I don't know. I say we got about what two more generations before I, I really think America itself is going to be, you know, a third world country. Nobody wants to be farmers. Nobody. Nobody wants to be construction workers. Nobody wants to have just a, you know, a labor trade. You know, something that you can fall back on. Everybody wants to be in front of a fucking camera. With Mike and all this other shit. That's cause like that's where the money at. That's where the money's at, right? Yeah, yeah. But Chasing the they money. Prom- they basically push and promote that we are trying to get into this um metaverse. Yeah. They want us to live in a virtual reality. That's what they're trying to push us at, at this point. And Have you not seen that want. at Walmart there's more self checkouts than actual employees now? Yes. It was at Sam's down the street. Exactly. They're trying yeah. to push it to the point where there's no workers. There's actually just machines and you live in a virtual reality. That's yeah. what they want you to be as right now. Um, That's the reality that we've got to accept and live in, that everything is going to be social media based. You make your money off of social media. I don't mind if I have to work from home, but people live their life on social media, living fake lives that they really don't live and they actually fuck over them and because they start thinking they more than what they really are. Like, yeah. And now you see why I don't like the social media shit. I, I don't care about that Instagram shit, none of that shit, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't want to see it. I, I'm done. So, I, I should be promoting, but that's it. So, man, I mean, fucking getting paid off social media shit is rarely good rather than actually have to deal with social media because you deal with the negative shit side of it and you deal with the positive side of it. Man. Yeah. But I'll say it like this: I be on social media, but I don't be on social media because I'm like, you get addicted to the shit eventually, like. People on it 24-7, like, throughout their whole day, they'll be on social media for eight hours a day like it's a work shift. Like, yeah. And they don't get paid for the shit. At all. You just roll it, commenting, scroll, scroll it again. I jump on the next app. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's cool you do that in your leisure time, but, like, right. the motherfuckers that do it all day, every yeah. day, that's a addiction. Yeah, they it's like crack. That's an addiction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They you worry about how many likes you got, worry about how many I comments you got. got the right filter. All types of dumbass shit like, like that. Like, you have to be on social media. You don't. Go no. do something else with your time. Be like, productive. But, but that's what I'm saying. That's the new generation that we're in to the point where social media has taken over a lot of people. Like, you have to be on social media in order to be relevant. Yeah. That's yeah. how they feel. No, no jobs. I mean, they have jobs, but nobody they have working. Jobs, but nobody working right no now. They have shits. robots in shit. Japan 
I read up on. Yeah. Um, it's killing machines is four. Oh, four, eater. Yeah. yeah. They would take out eater. 27 people in three seconds. Yeah. Killing machines. Over yeah, there. They're building. They eat, uh, what is it? Biological and like dead organisms, all types of organisms. It eats it just to stay alive. So if there's any dead bodies on the battlefield, it, it's technically built to eat that, you know. And it'll go back to, you know, full power. And that is crazy. Like, they yeah. finally made eating machines that can just dispose of people. And if they get to the wrong hands, the wrong country gets, you know, those eater machines. Just imagine the, the type of world we would live in. That, that'd be insane right there. But, you know, it, it's just all types of shit like that. Like, nobody wants to just have a trade anymore. Like... It's going to be everybody being copycats off of each other. That's it. That's I, right. This is what I call this generation, the copycat generation. Monkey see, monkey mm-hmm. fucking do. You see one motherfucker jump off a cliff, you're going to try and do the same thing with a backflip. Then the next motherfucker does the same thing, backflip, and he's doing a selfie. It, I, you know how many times I look through those reels and I see somebody just doing the same shit as the last guy I swiped through? I'm like, okay. That's All like right. TikTok. Everybody does the same thing. It's just like monkey mm-hmm. see, monkey fucking do. Like, there's nothing fucking new under the sun. Like, that's it. And then some people, they, they be posting shit. They be like, oh, life hack. I'm like, bro, that's not a life hack. That, that's not. They, they, they fucking. Well, what, what's that? The black Italian dude. He, he be, he be walking up and he be simply like, just open the door. And somebody's just like jumping through the window doing all this life hack shit. And he's just like, he's just like, Open the door. What the fuck are you doing? Right. Like, yeah, this is like, I, I can't stand this shit, but maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know, but I don't see that you're getting old. It's just getting touched out of the I'm, thing, shit. I feel out of touch. That's what it is. I'll say this like, I'm a, I'll be on social media, like, I Twitch stream and shit like that, but yeah. at the end of the day, I don't feel like the amusement and the shit, the shit boring, it's lame to me, like, yeah, shit dude. don't do nothing for me, I don't feel happy from this shit, the shit don't give me no amusement, like, it's I'm just scrolling on my screen, it's every now and then, like, oh, this picture, I actually, this video I fuck with, this person I'm a picture, I'm, I'm like, shit like that, yeah. shit like that, but on top of that, it's just like, you just own that to be on that bitch, it's not like something that's actually gonna educate me on some shit, like, I get on YouTube more than anything because I actually learn different shit from YouTube. I watch a lot of different YouTube videos and shit like that. That's on the social media platform. You could say that I actually go on 24 7 because I'll be educating myself about. I literally watch a lot of Animal Planet shit. I watch a lot of shark videos and shit like that. Yeah. I really watch a lot of gaming videos. I watch a lot of fucking computer videos. That shit is more interactive with me rather than me scrolling Instagram. Oh, this bitch posted a picture. This bitch posted a video. Yeah, that, 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 this TikTok. That, that. Eventually, that shit get repetitive, and I just don't get interested. Like, yeah, it's nice and shit like that to see what my friends be up to and shit every now and then. I check their stories more than I check their actual like posts. Like, once I go through everybody's stories, I'm off that shit. Yeah, and I'm back on YouTube chilling. Like the social media shit aspect, I be on. I, I only be on Twitter as much. To be honest with you, because mm-hmm. I don't be having nothing to talk about. Like, I'm mostly to myself. Like, unless I got some new shit I'm about to drop, then other than that, I don't really have nothing to talk about. No, that's how I'm like with uh, Instagram. I. I don't really have shit going on. Okay. Instagram is just like, I'll see a Facebook for the new generation that you just pop out and post some shit. That's what you're doing. This is why I do it. I don't know about it. I post shit after the fact that, that I didn't did it. I don't post while I'm there. Right. Yeah. I don't yeah. Never, like, you know, I don't yeah. put my same location to while I'm at. I, yeah. You'll see me post after I'm there right. and shit like that. You'll see the shit after. I know this stuff. Because then I would go up like, it's not good. Exactly. You I know how many times I didn't try to pop up and like <laughs> hang out with you? Yeah, never catch then, me in the I, same place. I like, like, I always man, drop my shit after. I got fucking bamboozled. I was like, where the fuck did he go? Like, yo, I thought you had wings or something the way you just be moving, I just bro. Like, just I keep my shit so cheap. I just move. I stick and move with shit. Like, yeah. I drop it and then I'll be on somewhere else. I'll be literally yeah. at another place dropping shit down that I'll see it. I, yeah. People think I'm at Shamrock. Bitch, I'm at Barcadia or some shit like that because I already posted this shit. You think I'm at Sham, but I'm at a whole nother club at this point. Fuck you, man. Right? I really okay. did. I, on two different occasions, I saw him post and I was like, oh shit, he's out. All right, well, I'm going to surprise him. I'm going to pop up. I go, I look like a straight fucking duck. Look for this. I literally did this in the crowd. I was like, where the fuck is he? I see. Couldn't fucking find Did it twice. I was like, you know what? 
I'm not even about to ever surprise this guy again because for some way he's got like spider senses and some shit. He just disappears on When it comes to that, you really just got to hit me up like, oh, I'm trying to link up like that because right. I don't do, like, that's how I feel like that. I came from the streets just like that. I don't need nobody knowing why I'm yeah. at. Yeah, like, I, I they got people who don't fuck with me that actually got it out bad for me or whatever. Right. They oh, might want to pull up for me or something like that and then shit right. got to get handled. I ain't that type of nigga where I'm just going to be surprised or spooked by the shit. I'd rather shit be known. You're, 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 you're a threat? I would say I'm a threat, but don't come across me wrong. Yeah. Simple as that. What, 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 what are you doing here? In my house today? I, I, I'm, I'm on, on a podcast. Yeah, I'm, push. Push. I'm on a podcast. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, man. I, like I, like I would say I have people looking for me. But, but you just like, yeah, I got people that just want to, you know, just off me, just... Do all types of wild shit to me. This is the kind of thing. Like, people say they're going to do that shit, but they don't. They ain't living like that. People say they're going to do that shit, but they ain't really about that action. Like, people tell me all the time that they're going to do something, I'm going to be touched. I just sit there and chuckle about the shit because you're not one of those. Yeah. You're not really about that. Like, right. you ain't a real stuff like that. Me, yeah. if I'm going to do something to you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just let it be. Whenever I see you, I'm going to see you. That's all I'm going to tell you. Whenever I see you, I'm going to see you. Is up. Talk that talk, nigga. That's talk that talk, talk, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> the day right to the nuts is I'm like, I ain't really the person that's going to do all that talking and shit like that. I'm like, I'm about yeah. actions. I'm going to just step to it. It's like, either me or you. Like, at that moment. Like, matter of fact, the other day, well, not the other day, this happened like months ago. Me and my partner went to Shambo or whatever. Yeah. They had these niggas beef when we came out of Shambo. We... I've been people like something was wrong or whatever, cause like, when we came out of stuff, I'm like, something just don't feel right. So when we came out of stuff and popped outside or whatever, like literally three steps out the door or whatever, dude like was with it. I'm like, man, you know him? He's like, I don't know that nigga. Uh, we keep walking and shit like that. He's like, so you don't remember me? I'm like, I don't know this nigga for sure, so I know he ain't talking to me. Oh no. He's like, so my partner was like, who you is? He's like, Oh, it's like you don't remember that um, you, and your, um, you and your brother or whatever got in a fight with me? It's like, oh, you the nigga that tried to jump me and my brother and with the females and shit like that. He's like, so what you trying to do or whatever? He's like, let, let, let's get it on or whatever. So the whole time they keep clutching the side of so I'm like, damn, my shit in the cup. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, we fuck right now. So we just walking and shit like that. He was like, man, he's like, he's like, I'm like, he's like, I, we ain't on that shit right now. He's like, he was like, so what you mean? Like, we go around the corner. I was like, why the fuck? I saw, I'm like, why don't we go around the corner or whatever? I don't know who you might got about around the corner with one of them things. Because at first it was just him or whatever. So we just keep walking because I'm trying to get the car with him. Because he actually keeps seeing him clutching. But I'm like, I'm trying to get the car because I get my shit right in the nub. I snuck that bitch and took this, man. So that's what I was thinking. I'm like, but the, the, listen. You got hit him hard. No, listen, listen, though. So as we keep walking, like, he keeps yapping and shit like that. I see another nigga pop up with him over there. I'm like, they wear the same shirt. They together. All right, cool. I asked 2v2, I'm like, nah, these niggas, this ain't the shit. I'm like, this little bitch, I ain't worried about him. She's like, they bigger than me, but I'm gonna knock his ass off straight. Or whatever. So as we keep walking, keep yapping and shit like that, the third person pop up behind us. I'm like, it's three to-. at first it was really me. For me, my partner, his other partner. That nigga partner dipped out on us. That nigga started walking fast as a motherfucker. I see this nigga walk past us. I'm like, I tell you, I'm like, look at what dude. I'm like, this nigga they left us. Thing, you know? I'm like, I can't fuck with him though. I'm like, that's your problem. I can't fuck with him no more. I'm like, that nigga left us. And she's like, I can't fuck with him no more. And she's like that. But, boom. So I'm like, they got us around us like that. So we just standing over there. I'm like, he keeps so like, let me get my fingers like that. He's like, bro. He's like, tell him right now, respectfully, you do not want this or whatever. Cause I'm a, the way I'm feeling, she, somebody ain't coming out this bitch. And she's like that. What the woo? He's like, all right, all right, bet, bet, remember this dude. And she's like, they remember I let you slide. I'm like, nigga, you let us slide. Nigga, he came up with that energy like he wanted to do something. It's three of y'all, two of us. I'm like, and they, and you still clutching. I'm like, it's whatever, whatever. I'm like, in the day, I'm like, y'all got his odd number. It's whatever at this point. I'm you like, got the drum. You got I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to just take my head off. I lose, I lose. I'm like, that's like, I lose, I lose. I'm like, it's three of y'all, two of us. I'm like, y'all got the drop on us. I'm like, I don't care. Or whatever at this point. I'm like, I'm going to just take my charge. Or whatever. He ain't ball shit or whatever. So boom, we get to the car show like that. My like, bro, that nigga just don't know if I got to this car a little bit earlier. This nigga would have been gone. Man. See, there would have been no question. As soon as I opened that door, I was gonna spark his ass. I'm like, I'm not one of the yeah. ones that you come up to with that bullshit. I'm really not. I'm, I'm, I'm not wrapped to you. You already witnessed it. I don't play it. Oh yeah. You already know how I get this motherfucker. Is so but the thing is, like, he kept clutching over there. I'm like. <laughs> Say less. I'm like, if my car was closer, I'm like, it'd have been old for him because my heart thing was touching. You gave me the sign that you want some shit to pop off. 
That's what I tell people. When I get mad, it's over for everybody. Don't piss me off. I like, remember. I'm the worst person for getting mad. I got a story for you, and we're going to wrap it up because we're at 28. Bro, I got a story for you. I'm getting my babe in the, his dad's driveway, uh-huh. right? And um, he stops to go see his cousin. They they just pulled up. So he's walking into the street, and one of his neighbor's mother was driving and she was driving all, you know, irritated and shit. Cause I guess they were holding up the street and she probably already had like previous beef. She fucking drives past them as they're trying to get the baby out their car. And Al, excuse me, God bless. Al was like, Hey bitch, don't fucking do that shit. My fucking family here. Don't, don't do that shit. You got me twisted. You got me all the way fucked up. And she was like, who the fuck you talking to? And then like her youngest son came out. Her chest, I mean, smaller than me. You see my build. This motherfucker was like a goddamn twig. And I'm sitting there. I literally, half my shit was cut. The other half, I was looking like something like Cyborg off of Teen Titans or some shit. My shit, my baby was fucked. So I'm sitting here. He's over there like, don't you come over here. You better get your mama and bring it in that fucking house. I will fuck you up and her. I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting there like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I'm just trying to get a fade, people. I'm trying to get a fucking fade. And he's about to catch a fade with these two. He's about to catch two charges. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I shit you not. Put this on my last meal. They both got inside. And he walks up to me. Literally grabs my head, twisting it and turning it all aggressive and shit. I'm like, you good, bro? You good? I, I had you, bro. I had you back. I had you back. He's like, man, don't even worry about it. He was like, <laughs> cut my shit. I'm, I mean, my fade was fresh as shit. It lasted like an extra two days because he really put that that hate and frustration into it. So, like, I was looking fly as shit. But I was like, yo, I don't know what the fuck was about to go down. I was, I was like, if I really die over a haircut, like, my parents... I, I love you, but I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just a young, reckless motherfucker. <laughs> um, so, till next time, um, we'll catch up with you. Like, subscribe, share. Um, thank you for watching, and we love you. And peace. 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 peace.